Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 6 of the Minecraft 1.16 survival let's play. Man, we're making lots of really good progress in this world. It's super exciting to see how far we've come so far, but we have a few updates before we start today's episode. So to start off, we did upgrade the world to the latest snapshot 20W17A. The snapshot didn't add much, however, it was filled with a lot of small bug changes. And if we look at Mojang's past snapshot release history, we find that they do a lot of really big snapshots, and then they do a lot of really small bug fixes once they are really close to releasing the update. And it seems like we're on to those really small updates that fix bugs. So hopefully, we should see the update. My prediction is that we're going to get the update in around a month or two, so hopefully, I'm super excited. I think it's going to be awesome. Also, I want to mention really quickly that I am going to start doing some off-work camera on this world since we have got a decent way into the world so far. I'm going to be doing it, a lot of it on Twitch. I streamed on Twitch last night, just some simple mining and whatnot. I would like to stream on YouTube more. However, I'm having a weird issue where every time I stream on YouTube, it just seems to not work. I'm not sure what the issue is. It's kind of weird. I originally thought it was my internet, but whenever I stream on any other platform, it's totally fine. So I'm not sure if it's something with YouTube, something with me, possibly both. Who knows? But this episode, I have a pretty big project planned. What I would like to do is totally destroy every villager made house and building in this village and eventually make it our own. So for example, take down this church, maybe make our own church, take down the houses, make a few houses. We do have a librarian villager trapped in here that gives us mending, and I would like to eventually move him somewhere else uh, and make him a library. So I think we're gonna do a total village revamp in this episode, which I'm super excited for. But if you look, my pickaxe is about to break. So what I did was I made a new diamond pickaxe and I actually took the time, oh, we got a doggo. Um, oh, let's actually check if we have bones and we can tame him. But anyways, I took the time to get to level 30. I went by my spider spawner. And so what we're going to do to start off the episode is enchant this pickaxe, see if we get any good enchants, and also hopefully tame this dog. Because once we have two dogs, we can start breeding them and eventually get a dog army. Now, if you guys watch my Blockworth SMP series on Twitch and the occasional videos on YouTube, <laughs> you would notice that I literally have about 100 dogs so far in that series. So it's pretty crazy. I want a similar sized army. And oh, okay. There we go. That's pretty good. I'll take that pickaxe. Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3. So I'll keep it in my inventory and I'll use up this pickaxe because it's only efficiency one. Um, <laughs> but there we go. We got our second dog. If you have a name suggestion for this dog, let me know in the comments down below. People also gave me lots of really good name suggestions for this dog, my first dog. Where did my dog just go? The second one. Oh, there they are. Uh, but if you have a name suggestion for this dog, let me know. I have yet to name this dog. I didn't do it yet. I do have the name tag, but I think I'm going to name him in the next episode simply because lots of people are still commenting potential names for the dog and so i don't want anyone to you know miss out on a chance to name the dog but what i'm gonna do here really fast is let's make myself a diamond axe just to make sure we're all set for this and maybe maybe i should enchant it i think that'd be smart we're gonna do a lot of wood cutting pretty much what i'm gonna do is cut down totally like every house in this village and then hopefully that'll give us some resources and we can use that to eventually build a new village all right efficiency two that'll definitely help cut this all down so i'm gonna take some time just totally destroy everything in this village except for the stuff we've made and that way we can get a clean slate for revamping this village all right so a long while later and we are done i totally destroyed all this village stuff the church the few houses now there are a few other houses on this side of the village over here i honestly forgot they existed i'm gonna leave them for now just because i don't want to mess with this part of the village a lot of it is just this giant ravine and i don't feel like filling this in right now i'll probably do it sometime on stream or off camera so this part of the village will be for a later date but i'm going to start on this main part of the village and to make it revamped to look totally a lot better all right so first i want to get started on the church now this is going to be the one building that kind of deviates from the theme for the majority of the village i want to stick to using oak wood and stone brick and blocks like that but for the church i decided to use a little bit of spruce i think it'll look nicer with the church and with the stone brick and also i was lucky enough 
to run across a little bit of spruce wood when I was just traveling. So I decided to collect a bit and I think it'll look nice. And the reason I'm using spruce is because most of the buildings around here are going to be oak wood and then have a stone brick roof. But this building is going to be stone brick with a wooden roof. And if I used an oak roof, it would look kind of weird. So I'd rather just use spruce for the roof. So let's turn some of this into logs really fast. We'll end up turning it into stairs. But I'm just going to start with a pretty general shape here. So let's just start right here, I think. And then I'll eventually cut down some of these trees. And let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And anytime you build in like odd numbers, it tends to work out really well. So for example, fives, sevens, nines, elevens, things like that. It always turns out well. So I'm going to do nine and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just give it a kind of rectangular look. This is going to be a relatively small church. I don't want it to be super big. I want it to be a kind of smaller little thing. I'll have some seats inside. Um, and also because I don't have a ton of stone brick to sacrifice right now, but I think we can still end up making it look pretty nice. Okay, so basically I have this weird shape here. I built it up a little bit. But what I'm gonna, oh damn, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, build up here and hopefully not fall this time. And pretty much these little pillars are meant to be those big church windows you always see. And I'll probably fill it in with some stained glass. I'm not sure what color yet. And this is pretty much the design. What I'm gonna do after I have this little section is I'm gonna do a little bit of an overhang with a spruce roof. And then we can put a little bit, a bit of detail around here. Okay, so I have the general design here. We have the doorway with this little cross. We're going to have a window there. I have the little cross up top, and then we have the nice large windows here. The reason I'm putting such large windows is because I want a lot of natural light in this church. I don't want to put a bunch of torches and stuff like that. I just don't think it'll look nice. So I'm going to fill this in with some stained glass and a little bit of detail, and we can see how it turns out. Alright, so here's my finished design, and I'm pretty happy with it. Again, if you guys want to use any of it, feel free. So I just did a dark oak door, because I wanted to put a door, and I thought this was the best. I have these large stained glass windows, and actually, I messed up when I was destroying the houses. I accidentally destroyed the lectern, but I decided to put it in here, so I'll have to... I'll have to get mending on this boy, it's okay. We'll, we'll be able to get it soon, we just have to keep placing the lectern. 
Um, but, but I think it works out well. I think this looks more like a religious book. I originally wasn't actually going to make this a church, just a general like religious place of worship. But I feel like a church was the easiest design. So we have that window here. We have these windows. And then we have the large stained glass windows here. I experimented with some different colors like yellow and red because those are the only colors I really have access to. But I found out that white stained glass ended up looking the best. And actually, I just placed some stairs to give the windows some shape. And I think it looks good. In the back, we have a normal cross window, and on the other side, it's the same thing. So overall, I'm actually pretty proud of this. I really like this. A lot of the houses are going to be a little more, not necessarily medieval styled, but like older styled. I don't want to do a lot of modern stuff, but I think this looks good. And also, this is the perfect place for this librarian villager to live. I was originally going to build him a library, but I think I'm going to scrap that idea because I think this this church is good for him. Even though you usually put like a cleric in a church or something, an alchemist, whatever they're called, I think this looks nice and I think it works. He's kind of like a scholarly guy. So overall, I think this looks good. I put little stairs here for the pews. I tried um, spruce stairs at first, didn't really work, but then I put oak stairs and it looks pretty nice. So overall, I'm pretty proud of this build and I think it looks pretty good. All right, so next I want to get started on a villager house. So I'm just going to take some logs. Let's go like right here. This will be the back and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to do something a little different for this house. What I'm going to do is have these kind of oak pillars be on the outside and have the actual house be on the inside. So let me show you what I mean. It just gives a little more depth and a little more like realism to the house. So the actual house is only going to be these dimensions this little five by five house however the oak logs just you know give it a little more depth um and this is a pretty small house however this is literally just going to be a house for one maybe two villagers it doesn't need to be a big house and that what that's what makes you know remodeling a village such a fun project because it's such just like a, a simple thing to do and it always turns out looking pretty good so let's finish doing this really fast and then we can pop a roof on this bad boy and i think it'll be all right so i'm gonna see really fast actually i might need to invert some blocks if i do a roof made out of oak stairs is that gonna look weird or can i do that let me let me try it out really fast and see how it looks yeah the oak the oak roof looks rather weird so i think what i'm gonna do is make the house out of oak and then use a stone brick for the ceiling and then we'll see how that looks yeah so this looks a lot better i used the stone brick for the roof instead of the oak and i think it looks really nice but it's not perfect yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a few windows in here and detail the house up a bit i think it'll look a lot nicer i'll put a window there put some windows around here just to give it some more natural light and also what i did at the very top is i used logs instead of stone brick to finish off the roof and i think it ended up looking a lot better than it would otherwise it just adds a lot more detail and it looks better than just stone brick by itself all right so here's the finished house and i think it looks pretty good and just a heads up the way i'm doing this is i'm showing you the main base for the house in case you guys want to build along but then i'm simply showing you guys the finished product so i'm not going to show you guys the entirety of me building the house because the episode would probably be a few hours and crazy but anyways here it is it's just seven by seven the actual oak part is five by five but i put a lot of leaves around i want it to be very nature themed i think it looks good i put some trap doors around the window to make it look not so bare um just some more leaves on this side for some detail on the back i put this and oh look the grass is starting to spread already i just put dirt but the grass will spread put some trap doors put some flowers didn't even notice that it's red white and blue so that's perfect put some trap doors above this window this side i just put some leaves and then on the inside i have a bed and a barrel now the reason i have a barrel doesn't really fit stylistically but i do want a variety of villagers around the village now right now i know i really only have that one villager but eventually i want to build a wall around this village and build some iron golems for protection um, but I don't just want to let my villagers out of the villager breeder because without that wall and without the iron golems, they're just going to die. So right now, still have the villagers in the work. They're going to stay in here. But once I finish this village revamp, I think it'll look really good. So what I'm going to do now, now that I have that house done, is I think I'm going to build another one over here. Pretty similar. Not the exact same, but a pretty similar design just so we can get some more houses in this village. And then after that, maybe build a few different style houses all right so i finished the second house i think it looks good I, I went a little bit neater with the leaves this time put some pots and i also put a smoker inside just to get a different type of villager i also dyed the bed with some of the red flowers so it looked nicer but i think what i'm gonna do now is i actually built a little bit of a long house i originally said i was gonna build like a smaller house but i think you know i have one villager for each of these houses i think i want a house where i can put three or four villagers so let's go grab some bread really fast i can 
also make some more stone brick. Oh, okay, there we go. I had some more smelting because we're running a little bit low. Um, but I think I like this theme of oak wood and stone brick. It looks really nice. Let's just grab a little bit more bread. So I think what I'm going to do is let's look for a good location. We have these two houses. We have the church. I'll eventually make a path of my own because this, uh, you know, path block doesn't look that good. I mean, you can make it look good if you really try. But I just, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't think it looks good. So we'll work on that later. But I think what I'm going to do now is flatten out a relatively large area. Maybe like around here or around here I can work out some of this. And we can make a long house. Alright, so I made myself a relatively large platform here. But what I'm going to do is do the general theme of these house. You know, I'm going to continue the general theme. But just make it a lot longer. So let me show you what I mean. I'll do the first pillar here. And then we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I think... Is this going to be long enough? Yeah, that's going to look good. And then for the back way, I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we still have this kind of rectangular look to it. Um, it's just a little bit of a different design. Let's get some of our stripped logs into planks and then just keep going like this. So again, the same house, just a little bit different. And you can do this in your village too, whatever house design you use. I do this all the time. Just try taking your general house design and making it wider, making it longer, making it taller. And you can you, usually, you know, it's a pretty good building hack because it's literally like building the same house except you're doing a lot less of the work because you don't really have to think of what you're going to do so i'm going to do the same thing just fill this in with planks uh, add some windows add a stone brick roof and we can see ultimately how it turns out all right, so here we go. I finished the house. It was weird to get this exact design, but I did what I could. Added some more windows, added a few trap doors. I also added some lanterns, and for this one, I added a base of stone brick to make it a little bit bigger. On the sides, it's just normal windows with leaves, nothing special. I actually realized I probably should have made the house nine blocks long instead of seven because it's a little tight on the inside, but I still managed to fit what I could. If we go inside here, I made four beds. We have a little blast furnace. Uh, grindstone and I put a barrel there. I'll leave one, one villager that'll live in this house will be without a job But that's okay because I still want some normal villagers in the village. I think it looks nice um, And after I made the lanterns for this house I thought that it might look nice to put the lanterns here So what I did for each house is I just put like a little fence with a lantern hanging down and I think it ended up looking pretty good But the finishing touch I always do to my villages after I revamp them which makes it look so good is just to bone meal up the place. Now I can't bone meal all of it because we don't have all the place, but all you need to do, bone meal, and then simply break the double high grass. Cause no one, no one likes the double high grass. It always looks bad. So I'll do this. And then after I do it in front of a house, I'll break some blocks for a for future pathway. But yeah, this is pretty much all you have to do. I don't have a lot of bone meal right now, but I've been using some seeds from my farm to put into a composter and it, you know, it, it's working. So just keep breaking the double high grass. I just think the double high grass looks really bad. It, it, it like clouds your vision. Um, if you get rid of it, it looks a lot better. But there we go. Look, that's so much better already. I'll add my own path eventually, but for now, like if we just add this so we get some sort of pathway here and it's not just flowers. Like, see, this looks all right. It looks pretty good. Not perfect, but the flowers definitely help make it look a lot better. And once we get shaders and Optifine for 1.16, man, looking at this village is going to look amazing, especially once we get ray tracing. But I'm pretty proud of, our, you know, what we accomplished. We have two pretty similar houses that'll house two villagers. We have one very long house that'll fit four. And then we also have a villager that will live in here. Now, this villager doesn't have a bed. He's just chilling. I'm not sure what we're going to do with him eventually. I mean, after we get mending i'll have to oh shoot he took on the new job of butcher um we'll have to figure out something maybe i can just uh hide a bed somewhere under here or maybe he'll just take one of the other houses i'm fine with that i think in the future and off camera what i'm gonna do is bone meal more of this place make some pathways and eventually in the future i will make more houses like over here we have room for houses i will eventually make more houses over there and we'll also make more buildings so far we only have houses and a church but maybe in the future something i really want to do is make like a forge where we have blast furnaces grindstones anvils stuff like that another place i want to make is kind of like a farmer's market i want to have farmer's market stands around here um but to do that i pretty pretty much only need fences and wool but I don't have a lot of sheep around here so once I get some sheep I might add some more I might do a little bit off camera too and the reason I'm just mentioning that is because uh I usually do a little bit of off camera work to make the thumbnail look a little nicer so if the thumbnail looks a little different I probably did some work but yeah 
anyways that's all for this episode if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe like i said go check out my twitch down below because i'll be streaming a lot more on there i'm also posting a lot more on instagram and twitter so check those out but yeah hope you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe this is jay wisp and i'll see you all in the next one